everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am super excited to be here with you all today if you're viewing me for the first time i am natalia inspiration and i want to welcome you to my channel if you haven't subscribed as yet please go ahead now and subscribe and remember to turn on the post notification bell so that you can be notified as soon as i upload a new video thank you So in today's video, guys, I want to share with you three important tips that you can do when you're going through a heartbreak. Yes, just three important tips. This is something that I have applied and it works tremendously. And I hope that it will help you as you apply them. So number one, take a break from the individual do not communicate with the individual so the person that you just got out of a relationship with you may want to give yourself a break take a break don't go on their social media don't look at old pictures don't read old text messages just take a break from the person take a break don't receive text messages don't send out text messages and don't receive calls don't do nothing take a break you need it to focus on yourself because at this point i know you're hurting i know you're broken and you need this time to really focus on yourself you need this time to rebuild yourself you need this time to work on yourself so use this opportunity to show yourself some love and care. It is important for you to take a break from the person so that you don't open the door to receive more pain and heartbreak and insult. You don't want that again. So take a break from the person. Don't communicate with the person. I know this might be something difficult for you to do, especially if you were madly in love with the individual, but I guarantee you that it works. When you take a break from the person that you were in love with and they hurt you, you need, you need this moment for yourself. You need this moment for yourself. So taking a break, it will help you a lot. Use this moment to shower yourself with love, with gifts, with attention. Focus on you. Give yourself a treat. This is the moment to treat yourself. And one of the things that I, I did, I poured my heart out. Yes. So that's the second tip I want to share with you. Pouring your heart out. After getting your heart broken, you have to you have to cry come on you have to shed some tears pour your heart out tears is a language that god understands it comes a time when words is not enough all you can do is just cry so the more you cry is the more you relieve yourself from the stress and the pain so it is important to take a time off to to pour your heart out and just let god knows exactly how you're feeling you need that moment to cry you need that moment to just pour out your heart and i t i am telling you it helps it helps you can't keep the tears back for too long and not at this point you want to act like superman or superwoman you don't want to keep you don't want to release the the, the the tears but this is the point where you need to pour it out I know you're trying to be strong. I know you're trying to hold back the tears, but this is the moment where you need to just release it. Free yourself from the pain because some of the pain that you're experiencing will not depart from you unless you pour it out. So you see, it's important to, to cry. It's important for you to shed some tears, pour it out. Because when you pour it out, you're relieving yourself. That's what you're doing. You're getting a relief at the end of the day. So it's not bad to shed some tears. It's actually helpful. It's actually very good. 
So you need to pour out your heart. And the next tip that I want to share with you guys is to talk to someone. Talk to someone that you can confide in. Find a friend or find a professional counselor. Find someone who you can reason with. Seek professional help so that you can express how you're feeling. Because the more you talk about it, is the more you are freeing yourself. You're liberating yourself from the pain and the hurt. It's important to talk about it, but do not tell everybody your business. You don't want to make the mistake of telling everybody your business. And it's not every family member that you need to tell. You don't need to tell everyone in your family what you've been through and what you're going through and how you're feeling. Just find one trusted person and share it with them. Find one trusted individual who you can talk to. Let them know how you're feeling, what happened and how it hurt you. Because when you find someone who will listen to you, listen with a heart to understand and not a heart to judge you, it, it makes a difference. When you find someone that will listen with a heart to understand you and not to judge you, it makes a huge difference. So if you can find someone that you can confide in, I guarantee you, it will make a difference and it will help you. So those are my tips of how you can handle a painful heartbreak. I hope that it helps you and I hope that you enjoyed my video. So thank you so much. We have come to the end of today's discussion. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for listening. And please remember to check out my next video. I upload video every day and sometimes every other day. So please look out for my next video and remember to subscribe and share with a friend so that day two can be blessed. God bless you.